In this section, we're going to be looking at the facial anatomy, looking at the various muscle groups and assessing what their actions are. The first muscle group we're going to talk about is the frontalis muscle. The frontalis muscle originates from the skin of the eyebrows and the glabella region, and then it inserts into the aponeurosis of the occipita frontalis muscle. Contraction of this muscle will cause raising of the eyebrows and wrinkles to appear on the forehead. It's important to note that there is no frontalis muscle in a V-shape in this area of the forehead, so there is no reason to put any product in this area. An important complication of overparalysis of this muscle is ptosis, where the eyebrow falls in front of the eye. The second area we're going to talk about is the gabella region. For both the doctor and the patient, the gabella is usually the first region to be treated with injectable treatments. The gabella lines are created by three muscles, the depressor supercilii, the corrugator, and the procerus. The depressor supercilii, it forms the medial part of the bicularis oculi. It inserts in a fan shape to the medial part of the eyebrow. Contracting it will draw the eyebrows down and give the person a typical menacing expression. The corrugator is seen as a part of the orbital ring. The fibres arise from the gabella region and insert into the medial part of the eyebrow. Contracting the corrugator leads to vertical lines in the region. The procerus originates from the bridge of the nose and inserts into the skin of the gabella region. Its fibres are interwoven with the frontal fibres of the occipita frontalis, which acts in direct opposite to these muscle fibres. The third muscle we're going to talk about is the orbicularis oculi muscle. The orbicularis oculi muscle is innervated by the temporal and zygomatic branches of the facial nerve. It has three main parts. The orbital part, which causes protrusion of the eyebrows and voluntary closure of the eyelids. The palpable part, which closes the lids during blinking, and the lacrimal part, which compresses the lacrimal sac. The most important part of this is the orbital portion because it forms the majority of the muscle bulk. This is particularly important around the lateral region. This in older patients will lead to crow's feet. One can accentuate these lines by causing the patient to smile.